Hey guys, it's Will from AFOL Anonymous. I've got another LEGO review for you. This is the Harry Potter Dumbledore's Office set 4729 from 2002. This came with 446 pieces and three minifigures. I managed to get it with its original box and instructions in a used condition for £26 and it usually goes for about double that, so I've done pretty well. So I'm going to start with the minifigures. This is a classic Lego Harry Potter minifigure, one of the old style ones. He has one side of head printing, no back head printing there. Uh, he has one of those starry old style capes and he comes with a brown wand, but other than that, there's nothing really of interest there. Next up, we've got the headmaster, Albus Dumbledore, who does come in a few of the bigger sets. You can see here, there's a couple of nicks just around. The condition isn't perfect on the minifigures, but they still look pretty good. He comes with these two hair pieces to make his long hair and beard combo. This one sits under his head and this one just goes on top. And then again, there's no back hair printing, back head printing, but you do get one of those nice purple capes. And then finally, Minerva McGonagall, who is exclusive to this set. You can only get her in this set. She comes in this vibrant green colour with a green wizard's hat there. You can see her face print. There is, again, there's another slight nick in there, but it kind of has this hair print around the top, which does look a bit weird when she's not wearing a hat. Um, this very detailed front printing which goes both on the torso and down to the the leg piece which is one of those dress pieces just on a on a slanted brick there so you just put that in where the legs would be and then she's also got a green cape there on the back so moving on to the build of the set because it's actually so tall i'm gonna take off the top half and do it in sections so we'll look at the bottom half first now luckily for us the old harry potter sets are built very modularly so this whole top bit carefully just comes off there and it's only connected by these four studs on the top so you can easily attach and reattach that. But for the bottom part of Dumbledore's office, this is the closed up exterior. You can see there's a lot of detailing on this front part. There's a dragon's head piece here, these two dragon's wings that are lying down, a couple of torches and a couple of fire plumes coming up there. And then you can see there's this printed brick exterior on here. But then if you remove this scorpion pin out there, and it's got two Technic axles attached to it, the front of this unlocks and opens up so that these bits come at right angles. Now this is the state that it is on the box and on the front of the instructions, which is a shame because the front, when it's closed up, I think offers the best kind of external detail that this set has, especially with this scorpion piece. I think it fits really nicely into the kind of front locking mechanism bit here. But opening it up, we've got these two side sections here. Firstly, on the left, there's a little safe here. So you can see the safe in a bit more detail. There's a printed image on the front with a handle, one of those little turny, I don't know what you'd call that, something to unlock it, for example, and then a spider in the top right corner. And then this actually rotates 360 degrees on two turntable pieces, one on the bottom and then one affixed to the top there. So this whole part just spins. Then you can open this safe here. And then there's a small printed letter piece. There are three of these in this set and they've got a seal on the middle, where there's red seals just printed there, and then also a uh, address, presumably, printed on the top, and then that just fits back in there. It is a bit um, finicky to get out, just because this whole thing <laughs> revolves the entire time. Now, moving on to the right-hand side here, this part doesn't actually rotate, even though it kind of looks like it might, but you can see there's a gold key here, one of the antique brass chrome keys. There's a couple of them in this set. And that is affixed to one of these three uh, little drawers, which you can just pull out. I'm going to pull the one on top here out. And you can see each one of these has a printed tile attached to it. So this one is a bag with a spider and some kind of gold printing on there. Again, that just slips back in to here. The one with the key on it pulls out there and it's got one of those letter prints that we saw earlier, 
put that back in if I can. If not, it's fine. It's not being recorded or anything. There we go. And then thirdly, this is my favourite print in this set. It's a trans blue shooting star kind of piece. There, all two by two tiles, two by one tiles. And then they just slip back in there. And then finally in the centre of this lower section, there's one of those classic old style Harry Potter revolving staircases that you can just rotate and have sit wherever you want. Um, have it going either direction as well. If you just pull the, the steps round, and pull them out like that. So now it's going up the other way. Um, yeah, the, no, other than that, there's not really any detailing at all in this middle bit, except there's a couple of spears you can see at the back there and down there. But then turning around the bottom part to the back, you can actually see a secret entrance that just swings up here. Um, these are all trans blue uh, one by two blocks, so it kind of looks like a stained glass window that Dumbledore might enter and exit from secretly. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> why that's there. Also, because you can see there's a gap between those two there, there's no resistance at all to this, so it kind of seems like it just, you know, f moves about on its own a bit. It's very uh, wobbly, let's say. Um, and also it doesn't have anywhere to really stop when it goes up, it just looks a bit out of place. But nice to have a another movable part in this bottom piece. Now moving on up to the top section, again we have walls that open out. So these two semicircles fold out to give a wider view of the main room. On the front of these again they've got some brick printing but the other pieces that they're connected to on the back don't actually have that brick printing. But these do open out to reveal the office. Now the main builds of the office section are this chair here which is on a turntable so that just rotates fully and then also this brown desk which has another one of those letter pieces. Uh, there's also a black hat which is presumably a sorting hat or the witch's hat and then a one by one trans green block piece which works as a kind of potion with a little stud on top of it. Now when the wall is closed here this chair doesn't actually have the space to rotate which I think is a bit of a shame so you do have to fully open this up to get any movement effect and equally it's made up of both black and grey pieces so it does look a bit like there was a bit of a mistake there with the design to be honest because it blends in with the the wall piece in a way that doesn't really help with trying to figure out where it is in terms of this menagerie of colour that you've got up here. But then this brown desk also hides a secret. You can fold that up and then there's a little tiny one by one tile in here, if I can just get that out, printed of a magical book and it's slightly shiny there, one by one white tile. It just pops in there and you can fold the table back down. Now behind the table and chair there's a printed uh, four by four piece which also appears in Snape's castle among other sets just got some potions on the back uh, but this piece actually rotates round to reveal the second of those two keys uh, there's also these four one by one bricks which act as again another kind of stained glass window effect here and that can just rotate round and you can affix anything to that little clip there. And then finally moving up to the top of this upper section you've got this wheel here with a printed uh, magical kind of spell aura kind of thing with there's moons and stars on it and it's all going on here slightly translucent there and then also this again a weird combination of pieces there's some uh, translucent pieces there's some grey pieces some black pieces but there's a little uh, technic axle poking through at the back and if you turn it the whole thing kind of rotates. And I'll just show you that from the side here, the axle just pokes through and if you turn it there you can see the parts start to move. Now I'm not sure if I fully, again, fully like the design of this. It might be a hot take. I really like this circular piece. I think that looks great and it really fits in with the, the kind of magical parts that you see. But then this kind of blocky, uh, mechanical gear piece here that also turns. I do think it looks a bit out of place just because it doesn't really fit in with the either translucent or blocky. It's a bit of both. I just think it looks a bit strange. But it's nice to have two independent moving 
pieces there and that's all done by these actual pieces here they're kind of gears connected into the teeth of the mechanism and it turns them all at once and then this is the exterior of that part you've got this really nice large roof piece in that classic Harry Potter sangreen these two uh, towers tower pieces here which I really like how one of them is longer than the other it gives it quite a, a realistic feel and then just below this window piece here again is that Technic axle to turn all the bits. Finally this set also comes with a book piece it's a red book and it's got forest detailing printed on it there's a what looks like a vine with a head on it with some teeth there's a very very comically thin mushroom on the side and then some more mushrooms on the back and then this book opens up but there's there's nothing in it. So just taking a look at the box here um, on the front you can see there's some arrows showing you how to move the set about. You can see a young Daniel Radcliffe um, from the Chamber of Secrets sets. Uh, and then on the sides, we've got some more views of, see there, he is opening up the, the desk. McGonagall checking her mail, presumably. Um, and then you've got a nice, it's, it is very tall. See, I could hold it this way, but that's, <laughs> everyone crane your necks to the left for this. You can see Harry uh, creeping in from the side just having a look out through that gap there and then you can see all of the movable doors and then on the back we've got the entire Chamber of Secrets and some of the Philosopher's Stone sets because uh, they're all modular as I said they all connect together then you've got a few alternate builds so here what looks like a kind of smaller stage set with similar things included in the Dumbledore's office uh, on the right here you've got showing how you can take the top and the bottom off the main build but then at the top here this is probably the most wacky design uh, it's got kind of an l-shaped room here the stair pieces are used to create kind of a lattice at the back but then the rest of the pieces are <laughs> made to create this weird janky looking dragon um, I kind of want to make this so <laughs> let me know if you want to see some alternate builds from this set because it is it's a shame that lego doesn't do this anymore where they have the the just imagine uh logo here up at the top i i want to imagine i don't know if i want to imagine this but i want to imagine something with the set and then finally the instructions which are in pretty good condition for the price um the corners a bit folded and then i think as i found when i was going through the middle pages have uh have detached but i'm not sure that i'm gonna be able to find them right now but then on the back again you can see that same picture from the box where all the sets interconnect. I've got quite a lot of these sets, so do let me know in the comments if any jump out that you want to see reviewed. I actually got this one, the Troll on the Loose, in a recent unboxing, so there'll be a link to that at the end of the description. Again, a, an amazing segue from me there. Um, and then, yeah, there's, there's actually instructions for some of these alternate builds. So this is the one that I was saying with that horrible looking dragon there. Um, so again, let me know if you want me to build any of these and I'll show them off. So that's my review of Dumbledore's Office. I think it's a good set. It's just very, very strange, some of the design choices that they've made. And especially considering its age, I think a lot of the blockiness makes sense. Um, but as I said, when you shut up the front like that, I think it definitely looks really detailed and really good. And then equally on the sides, you can make it into... Oh, knocked him over you can make it into quite a an appealing structure but then when it's open it does I think for me anyway lose a bit of its uh, charm because there's not actually much there like this whole section's empty um equally on the top it's it doesn't have very much it just shows kind of bare walls um but anyway that's the review I <laughs> tell me what you think in the comments because I'm I'm not entirely sold on this um I'm not sure if I should have spent that much money on it, but I got a good deal. So anyway, uh, if you want to see me review any more Harry Potter sets from the old series, let me know in the comments or tweet at me at a Anonymous. There's a link everywhere you can think of, really. Um, and also, I'm quite new to doing YouTube, so all the YouTube stuff that you would normally do, just do that. That'd be great. Thanks for checking in, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See yous.